What's up guys, this is your boy The Real Guy and today I'm back here with another video and today's video, ow, just hot. <laughs> it's really hot here, but it's kind of hot. I'm going to be doing this quick so I didn't really bother myself. So, uh, today's video we're going to be talking about dressing up the engine bay and stuff like that and I got some part that I'm about to put right here and it's about to go in the car right now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned, I'm going to explain everything to you detail by detail. So. I had got something in the mail and it came from the United Kingdom and I see a lot of boys with the STs that go for this kind of uh, plastic fill up thingy that goes right here something like this I, I, I don't even know how it goes on we're gonna figure out it together but so yeah it goes on something like this you know and right here and it just covers your engine bay and uh, I, I, I just don't like the look of this you know what I'm saying so that's the only reason why I really got this shit because I do not like like there's red plastic right here where it's red everywhere. I want the car to look as clean as possible and as nice as possible. So that's the only reason why I went with this. And when you do order, it's not it's not too expensive, it's like fifty dollars or something like that. When you do order, it comes with two for both right and left side, and there it is. See what I'm saying? There it is. So it comes with both left and right side, and this is what it looked like on either side. So. I guess this side could go this side, this side could go right here. So either way, it can go either side. If you want it to be rough, you can put it right there. If you want it to smooth side, you can put it right here. But I want a rough side because, I mean, thinking about it, I feel like it's better to have it on the rough side than the smooth side because this is rough. It's not smooth. If you match this and this, it wouldn't make sense. So that's the only reason why I went with this one. But pretty much I just wanted my engine bay to look clean and look nicer. And I'm gonna take you guys through the process of doing this. First thing, I, I, I got a towel, which is wet, like a regular microfiber towel. I wet it half and I wet it dry. I made the other side dry. Gonna wipe this side down because we're gonna be using some type of 3M tape somewhere on here. So it's better to wipe it and make it clean. Wipe it down. Wipe, 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 wipe it down. So pretty much, yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm gonna wipe it down. I don't know if I should take this off. I feel like it'd be way easier. in this now Ugh. there you go because I, I don't I don't need it anyways I have a hood strut you know and I don't need this kind of stuff so you're just gonna wipe it down there's not really any install videos on YouTube and I thought maybe I'll show you guys what it what it's like whilst I do install it you know what I'm saying and there it is look at how clean this is oh my god it was dirty for months See? If you take your time and detail your shit will look nicer, bro. I, I just don't want to go through the process. So that's the only reason why I am going this route. So I believe the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take this off. And I think I do have to tape something on here. So that's a magic bar. But. Man, this thing is really long. Holy shit. I'm not sure what it's for. I guess it's for the hood. I have no clue what it's for, but yeah, it's for the hood. So I guess it's gonna go like this, like that, boom, boom. And it makes the hood looks really, 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 really clean. As you guys can see, it does make the hood look really clean. I like the setup. I'm gonna put it on the other side too, just to see what it looks like for a second. same process with this side too you know I'll screw it <laughs> this is really long bro what the heck so it goes on like that and it sits just like this and I, I'm not sure if this sits underneath it if it sits on top of it, I have no clue, but I probably just have it sit underneath it, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if it makes sense sitting underneath it or if it makes sense sitting on top of it. I like the look of it. Oh my God, it makes a whole different ton of difference in the motor, you know, under the engine, and I like that. 
So you guys see everything is wiped down and the first thing we're gonna do is take these boat. I think this boat comes out, this boat, and that's it. I had to go get it too. So what two you're gonna need is a T25 will go right in it and you're gonna take it off. So T25, boom, comes right off. Same thing with this. bolts right there I'm gonna put this right there we're gonna test fit it again and make sure that's the right one boom so this is gonna go right in there so it's gonna go underneath it boom 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 I'm not sure if it goes in like this okay. I'm surprised it will go in like that though Hmm. Oh, this extends. It's not working. You let it. You extend it. So this little piece right here extends for some reason. There you go. We got it right there. So that's how it's gonna fit. I'm not sure why it's gonna let it sit up like that though. So like that. And with the tools that you get, you get this tools that comes with a little velcro and like boat washers. So I guess you're gonna put. One of the boat, boat washes on both of the boats, so like that. Boom, 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 boom. The washer is gonna go right on it like this, you know, and it sits like this. And this is gonna go in. So before I even talk, uh, boat, but put the boats back in there. I'm gonna leave it right there, and I'm going to put the velcros that comes in a little box with it so when you get the box it comes with these bolt and these little velcros and it comes with a car air freshener too but I'm gonna this velcro sits right here like this so it's gonna sit right there I guess so air doesn't move it or whatever I feel like this is gonna help with aerodynamics and it's gonna direct most of the air straight Back here too. I don't know. I'm just guessing, man. I am just guessing it. It's gonna sit like this. Boom. Like that. And this is gonna sit like that. That's part of the reason why, before I started putting this on, I told you guys you need to wipe this down, you know? Because Velcro is gonna be going on top. And if you pull Velcro or anything, you wanna wipe it down. So, boom, boom. I'm gonna put the velcro and I'm just gonna let this sit right on top of it. So, like that. See? Ta -da, ta -da. Then it goes right in and then your boat is gonna go back on it. Both of the boats. The first boat goes into the first hole, which is right here. Oh. There you go. So there's the first bolt. The second bolt is gonna go right here too. It's a little tight fit, but hey man. Okay, so I guess I guess you're gonna have to fold the boat in. That's what I'm gonna do. It's just not gonna sit straight, but that's fine with me, man. I'm gonna upgrade these boats anyway sometime soon. Boom. So it's in there like that. I just don't like that it's sitting up like this, you know? So I think I'm getting used to it. I don't know if it's because of the boat, how I had the boat sitting or what, but it's not sitting flush. But either way, I like it. It looks cool. Makes the engine bay cleaner. And I'm gonna do the same process to the left side, right there. <laughs> if you look at it, I like it. I mean, to be honest with you, it doesn't look bad, it doesn't look ugly. You know what I'm saying? It's just pretty cool in there and makes the engine bay a little cleaner, a little nicer. 
the only thing is that when you purchase this online, which I'm gonna leave the, in the description below, you can either get this in, you can either get this in, uh, you can get one that comes with this, or you can get one that doesn't come with this. But I got the one that doesn't come with this because I have a hood strut and I'm good with it, so it doesn't really matter if this is gonna be there or not. You know, I don't need it. All right, as you guys can see, it's just pretty clean in the engine bay and stuff like that. I like the looks of it. I just don't like that it looks like it's flat here and it's a little raised up here. But because there's an AC something here, I don't know what the right word is for it. But yeah, there's an AC something there. That's why it sits like this. But other than that, it looks makes the engine bay looks pretty clean, pretty nice. It's flush. I like the way it looks. I mean, I feel like it's gonna help with aerodynamics too. Because I mean, when the engine is closed and there's air that's traveling through it right here, it's gonna just directly go and go out or oh, this is covered never mind i'm just making some bullshit up but anyways if you did like this if you did like this video make sure you like subscribe share the video with your friends with your friends and family you know what i mean help the channel grow i'm definitely going to change these boats up here i'm going to go with the what do you call it the dress up boats and stuff like that i wish this car had a lot of boats that i could put a lot of dress up stuff in here but i can't because it doesn't have a lot of dress up bullshit so yeah i'm going to change this eventually once the new motor goes in and stuff like that but if you did enjoy this video, make sure you like, subscribe, share the video with your friends and family. And I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.